just kind of go near it. I just don't want to not pick them up. You know, but it's like we don't really have the setup for that. I'd like to thank everybody for coming to such a beautiful day. Can we all please find our seats? Good afternoon. As principal of Geneva High School, it is my privilege to present to you the class of 2021.
Would you please stand for the Geneva High School alma mater, followed by the Star Spangled Banner. Please be seated. Thank you, Mrs. Mather and Mr. Trident. The class of 2021 would like to welcome you to the Geneva High School's 150th commencement ceremony. Thank all of you for being here. I would like to take a moment to introduce some school officials. Mr. Eric Kujula, superintendent. Mr. Kevin Lilly, Treasurer. Mrs. Sarah Fisher, School Board President. Mr. Rick Arndt, School Board Member. Mr. Richard Dana, School Board Member. Mrs. Amber Metzler, School Board Member. Mrs. Jamie Ortiz, school board member. Dr. Terry Trehar, Horn, sorry, incoming superintendent. Mr. Mark John, Geneva High School assistant principal. Mr. John Mansky and Mrs. Kim DeBacker, Geneva High School guidance counselors. We need to give a special thanks to Mrs. Mar Ma Mrs. Ann Markajan, the senior class advisor, for all her hard work preparing for today and for everything she does for the students throughout the school year. Also, a huge thanks to all the teachers, staff, and volunteers who have worked so hard to make today possible. The class of 2021 has made Geneva High School a place of tremendous achievement and a source of great pride within the community. It is important to note that none of this would have been possible if it weren't for the guidance and education these students received throughout their years in school. We want to thank the teacher staff for all they have done to help prepare these students for graduation and their futures. Student, today is an exciting and momentous occasion. It marks the end of one part of your journey and the beginning of the next chapter of your lives. 
Today we are here to honor your accomplishments and celebrate your achievements. Now let's take a moment to recognize some of our students. Please stand and be recognized when I call your name. Senior class president, Isabella Cordova. Senior class vice president, Kariana Downey. Senior class secretary, Christina Ors. Senior class treasurer, Michaela Bryan. Michaela is competing at state right now in track. Thank you for all your hard work. The following students are the top 10 students for the 2021 school year. Please stand and be recognized when I call your name. Kaylee Caswell. Connor Deek. Kariana Downey. Sarah Frito. Vanessa Gunther. Tessa Jones, Elena Metzler. Elena Metzler is the valedictorian of the class. McKenna Proy, Kyle Smothers. Kyle Smothers is a salutatorian of the class. Morgan Stoltz, congratulations on your tremendous academic accomplishments. All students wearing white stoles are members of the National Honor Society. Please stand to be recognized. This senior class not only worked hard in the classroom, but also chose to participate in athletics, band, choir, theater, or art, or belongs to one of the many clubs offered at Geneva. Your participation in these activities have provided you with an excellent opportunity and experience. Several of these extracurricular clubs and activities have provided the students with cords to represent their outstanding participation. Students wearing gold cords are members of the Interact Club. Please stand and be recognized. Students wearing green cords are members of the Philanthropy Club. Please stand to be recognized. All students wearing red cords participated in the Asheville County Youth Leadership. Please stand and be recognized. All of the students wearing silver cords have completed over 50 hours of community service. Thank you for all your service to the community. Please stand and be recognized. Students wearing gold and white cords are members of the theater program who have earned 50 or more hours in the program. Please stand and be recognized. Students wearing black and silver cords have completed eight consecutive semesters of excellent in music, band, or choir. Thank you for entertaining us. Please stand and be recognized. All students who had made the honorable decision to join the military, please stand and be recognized. Thank you for your service to our country. I would like to recognize all our vocational school students. These students have chosen a different educational path to complete their high school careers. Congratulations to you and the success you found in this excellent educational opportunity. Please stand and be recognized. Next, I would like to recognize the students who participated in the CBI program. This year, we had 46 students participate in the program. These students worked collectively for over 29,148 hours and made an astonishing $306,000 in gross pay. These students work hard to manage their academics while gaining valuable work experience. Please stand and be recognized. Congratulations to all of you for all your hard work and all that you have accomplished during this school year. Now to the 2021 class. Personally, I want to congratulate each of you. I want you to know that I feel blessed that I had had the opportunity to watch you learn, 
grow and mature over the past four years. You have persevered through unprecedented times. Since last March, I have watched you respond to these difficult and even challenging situations with determination, resilience, and empathy. I believe that it is during unpredictable and challenging times that the true measure of a person's character is revealed. I've witnessed so many of you adapt and grow in spite of these challenges. You persevered in the strength or attributes that will serve you well in the next chapter of your lives. Today I am filled with an overwhelming amount of pride thinking about all that you have accomplished in these four short years and imagine the incredible impact you will have on the world. Take pride in what you have achieved and the obstacles you have overcome and know that you have the strength to achieve greatness. I want you to know that I am so proud of all of you that for what you have done and accomplished, but I am truly inspired by the people that you are. Remember that you have the skills, strength, and ability to accomplish anything you set your minds to. It may not always be easy, and it will never be without challenges, but with courage and determination, you are unstoppable. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. I believe that within each of you lies the ability to achieve all your dreams. My hope for you is simple. I hope that you find success and happiness in your lives. Seniors, as you tell your story, write it well. Congratulations. At this time, we will hear from our class speakers, Elena Metzler, Christina Orris, and Kariana Downey. Hello everyone, and thank you for supporting our graduating class of 2021. Seniors, we made it. We're graduating from high school. Congratulations. Now what? After years of hard work and dedication, we have finally reached the pinnacle of our primary schooling career. All of our study groups, projects, juggling school with work, extracurriculars, performances, and games are behind us now, and what lies ahead is the rest of our lives. We all may not be saying, now what? Some may have committed to college. Some may be entering the military. Some may have jobs or careers in the trades lined up. Some may be taking a gap year and have a plan for after. But some of us may still be deciding, and that's perfectly okay. As Abraham Lincoln famously stated, the best way to predict the future is to create it. The path to our future is not always easy. Some of us may have been faced with challenges concerning what profession is best for our future and how to attain that career. We may also question whether this path can support us long term and whether it will remain interesting. Some of us may be pursuing a career in the armed forces and have contemplated which branch, as well as which job in this branch, is the right choice. Some of you know how I struggled with my decision on where to attend college. Months of agonizing over which is the right place, pros and cons lists, research, hours long discussions with friends, family, and trusted mentors. It was the most difficult decision I've had to make so far, and it was only my first adult decision. Honestly, I still wonder, did I decide correctly? Just as I've pondered this question, others may be asking, should I remain at my present job? Should I seek another one with better benefits? Would more training make me more marketable? Many of us are still trying to decide which path is correct, 
but know that there is not only one right path, but many that will guide us to where we are meant to be. I've listened to my classmates talk about what they want to do with their life, knowing exactly what that is from a young age, but not me. I've often wished that I would have known exactly what I wanted to be when I was eight years old, but that strong passion for something just hasn't hit me yet. What I'm saying is that it's normal to be unsure of what the rest of our lives will look like when we're thinking about it as seniors in high school. Even those that have chosen a path may take a left turn somewhere and still end up exactly where they're meant to be. There's no way for us to know what tomorrow will bring, as we've all learned so well in this path year, let alone what the next year or two or four will bring. But that is okay. It's great to be excited about graduating and moving on to the next chapter of our lives, but it's also okay to be unsure of what this is and even a little scared. My parents have always reassured me that nothing is set in stone and decisions can be changed. So while many of us have a plan laid out for the rest of our life, if we find that it just doesn't fit, we can change it. For those that don't have a plan, that might be scary, but that's okay too, because now is a time for exploration and discovery of who we are and who we want to become. In the next few years, we will find our passion. We will define our course in life. We will continue to learn. We will determine who we are as young adults. We don't have to have that figured out today or tomorrow. It will come as we grow in all of the new experiences that are waiting for us. Actress Stacy Keebler once said, everything in my life has been a stepping stone to something else. The way I see these past 12 years is as a stepping stone. In the same way garden stepping stones function as a path to the final destination, each year of school has led us to this point in our path, which will continue throughout our whole life until we reach the final destination. Today, we are about to take the next step into the rest of our lives. So I'll ask again, now what? Now we celebrate our accomplishments, our commencement, each other. Congratulations, seniors, we have done it. Thank you. I would now like to welcome Christina Oros to the stage. Good afternoon. It is my honor to welcome students, families, and faculty to the 2021 Geneva High School graduation ceremony. I would like to start off with a quote from Malcolm X. Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. If you were to ask me four years ago if I would be standing here today making this speech, I would have said no. There were times in the past where things felt almost impossible for me, but today is a different story. As we prepare to go our separate ways, I would like to share with you three lessons that I have learned throughout my high school journey. The first one is be patient. Let's face it. We all know that after today, most of us will not see each other again. All of us emphasized how ready we were to leave school and to move on to bigger and better things. But the truth is, those are years we are never going to get back and memories we won't ever experience again. The next lesson is to never let anyone else define you. No one has the authority over your life to tell you what you can and can't do. Nobody knows what the future holds for you and who you may influence along the way. Every last one of us is unique. 
and that means we will take on different path, lifestyles, and obstacles to reach success. Whether you're going to college, the workforce, or heading into the military, it doesn't matter how long it takes you or what order you do it in, as long as you get it done for yourself. Yes, you are going to have failures along the way, but that is just pointing you in a new direction to accomplish your goals. The final lesson I've learned, it is up to us to figure out what we like and what our calling may be. Yes, it's nice to have someone on our team, but the most important thing we can do for ourselves is be our own cheerleader, encourage ourselves, and find our own motivation to keep pushing forward, even if the world may seem against us. Oprah Winfrey once said, surround yourself with only people who are going to lift you higher. The pandemic has weighed heavily on everyone. I want to personally thank Mr. Kujula, Mr. Weatherholt, Mr. Markajan, and the staff for trying to make this year as normal as normal can be. We were still able to celebrate fall events such as homecoming and spirit week when the pandemic was peaking, participate in extracurricular activities, and have a senior prom. Just being able to come to school and see each other brought back a sense of normalcy. My fellow graduates, we may not have the power to inspire the entire world and to strive for success, but we do have the power to try and achieve it for ourselves. Another quote that I leave you with today is by Jodie Foster. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course as you believe you bob aimlessly in the current. Wouldn't you know that your path was there all along, waiting for you to knock and waiting for you to become? This path does not belong to your parents, your teachers, or your leaders. Your path is your character, defining itself more and more every day, just like a photograph coming into focus. My challenge for each of you and to myself is to do all that you can do to reach your full potential. Everyone, the future is truly in our hands, so let's make some most of it. Let's not bob in the waters. Remember to set goals, have patience, and as Buzz Lightyear always says, to infinity and beyond. Thank you so much and congratulations to the class of 2021. I would like to now welcome Ms. Cariana Downey for the next speech. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to be speaking to all of you today. First of all, Congratulations to the graduates and to the families of the class of 2021. You should all be incredibly proud. To the faculty of Geneva High School, on behalf of the senior class, thank you for the endless support throughout our academic careers and providing us with every opportunity to be successful. We wouldn't be sitting here today without you. But what is success? If you all take a glance around, your eyes will fall upon friends, classmates, probably even neighbors you've spent the past 13 years growing up with. That's the beauty of living in a small town. You'll see athletes, intellectuals, musicians, actors, and artists. 10 years from now, at our high school reunion, when you look around, you'll probably see the same, but grown into teachers, nurses, mechanics, cooks, coaches, businessmen and women, and members of the military. The reality is that whatever we grow up to be, it doesn't matter more than who we grow up to be. 
Whether you're going to college or not, if you have a family or not, or if you're simply taking one day at a time, I know we've been adequately and thoroughly prepared to find our own definition of success with integrity and passion. I'm proud to be part of such a talented and hardworking senior class. You all amaze me by your dedication, work ethic, and kindness. I hope you will utilize those qualities in your future endeavors. Now, I would be a fool to stand up here and try to give you all parting wisdom. I know nothing in which you do not know. However, I can reflect on our years as high school students and this journey in which we're about to embark upon. Needless to say, so far the transition from childhood into adulthood has not been smooth or easy in any way whatsoever. I never thought I'd be so grateful to simply have a graduation. Parents and staff, for you all, it was never in question whether or not you would be able to invite your family to your graduation or if it would be too unsafe to even come to school. And yes, I am painfully aware of how tired we all are of hearing about the pandemic, but it has forced us to adapt and to overcome the obstacles it created for us as high school students. In retrospect, I think these challenges have opened up our eyes to a new perspective, one in which we grew up a little faster to understand just how much our teachers and our families care. In addition to a stronger support system from friends, as we all share an understanding of the times and the difficulties we all face. Now, as some of you know, I have three older brothers, and so I've sat there through my fair share of high school and college graduation ceremonies. I refuse to be the person to say high school is a fairy tale and the best four years of our lives. In all honesty, I really hope it wasn't the best four years of your life. I'm not gonna say we're a big family or even that we won't forget each other's names the next time we see each other. Regardless, we've all sat in the same classrooms, sang the same alma mater, cheered for the same teams. I don't ask that you remember my name in 20 years, but that you remember the shared experiences. I hope that you remember the seniors being mad at us when we destroyed them in tug of war as sophomores, and that you remember what poggers means, and that one time we got put in lockdown because there was a cow outside the school. I hope that you all remember Mr. Leiniger rapping Ice Ice Baby for us, and all those times we clapped along while the band played the fight song at lunch. We all know about the stress and the days we wished it was over, but now it really is, and all we have are the memories. Some of you will leave here today and never look back, and some, your roots have been planted in this town, and that's a beautiful thing too. I won't ask you to go out there and change the world, because I don't have to. I know that it will happen regardless. However, I do ask that you understand that life is a learning curve, not a test. Take your time and find what you love in this world, because every mistake only adds up to be a lesson learned. In the words of Barbara Kingsolver, believe you have it in you to make the world look better rather than worse seven generations from now. Figure out what that could look like, and then, if you're lucky, you'll find a way to live inside that hope, running down its hallways, touching the walls on both sides. Thank you, and once again, congratulations. The senior class had the opportunity to select a teacher to speak at graduation 2021. It is my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Melissa Hall. Sorry, I guess I should have worn shorter heels today. Class of 2021, I am honored that you chose me to celebrate this important decision, this important milestone in your life. I am delighted to be here on this very sunny and very hot day. It's fortunate for you that you selected a redhead to speak at your ceremony. The sun and I don't mix, so I will be brief. You're welcome. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment and take care of something that I feel is really important. As a mother of three boys, I've attended many school programs. 
At each event, as my sons paraded into the gym or auditorium, I am always on my feet, frantically waving at them, trying to get their attention. Sometimes they look, sometimes they don't. So, graduates, I'd like you to turn around, find your family, and wave at them. That's what we want. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about you, the class of 2021. Today, your life is changing. On Monday, you will not be racing into the parking lot at 722. You won't be standing for the Pledge of Allegiance after the first bell rings. You also won't run into the cafeteria because you eat sea lunch and you want to get the orange chicken before it runs out. Those days are behind you, and a new set of experiences await you. Many of you may be feeling uncertain or anxious about the upcoming changes, changes in your life, but change is a necessary part of life. Those of you who are headed to the workforce may decide to change your career. Those of you who are headed off to college, you may change your major. You may even decide to change schools. Some of you will change where you live and move to another town or across the country. Many of you will change over and over and over. And while you're navigating through those changes, please remember that you do not need to do it alone. The most successful people in the world all relied on the help of someone else. I mean, where would Khloe Kardashian be without the help of Kim, Courtney, Kyle, Kylie, and Kendall? What? That's not a good example? How about Bill Gates? He founded Microsoft with the help of his friend Paul Allen. Mark Zuckerberg, he developed Facebook with his Harvard roommates. And after winning his fourth NBA championship, even six foot five, 250 pound LeBron James made a call to his mom and said, you are the reason why I'm even able to do this, mom. My advice to you is to surround yourself with people who will challenge you and inspire you. With their help and support, you will be more likely to overcome any obstacles that you face. And with the help of others, you will find it easier to face your fears, which you will certainly encounter at some point in your life. In fact, facing one's fears is what got me into this situation today. I promise you I've avoided public speaking my entire life and I haven't slept in weeks. But I am getting through it with your love and support. And one day when you come face to face with whatever it is that you fear the most, with the love and support of your family and friends, you will get through it too. I'm sure at this point, you're all thinking, she promised to be brief, when is this going to be over? Well, you're in luck. I would like to be spec or speak on behalf of all the GHS staff and say that it has been an honor working with all of you the past four years, and we could not be more proud of you than we are today. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you for all your outstanding speeches. I would like to introduce to you the superintendent of Geneva Schools, Mr. Eric Kujala. Good afternoon. As the superintendent of Geneva Area City Schools, I'm honored to be able to share a few words with all of you on this wonderful day but I'm especially pleased to be able to share a few thoughts with the class of 2021. 
Today, my remarks are going to focus on masks. No, not the masks that have been such an integral and required part of our life for the past year. But the masks I want to talk about are the ones we often wear in our lives. In a quote by Marty Rubin, he said, behind every mask, there is a face, and behind that, a story. We all wear masks sometimes in our lives. These metaphorical masks hide our true selves, thoughts, and emotions. I want to share with you today the good and the bad that comes from wearing masks in our lives. And as you move forward today as 2021 graduates, you will be making your own decisions on how you want to be portrayed. There are some practical reasons why we wear masks in our lives and some reasons why we should take them off and be our true self. Let me start with some ways masks are beneficial. First, all masks serve a function. They help us manage some of life's situations, allow us to fit in and hide certain feelings, weaknesses, or emotions. They can even be advantageous in certain social or career situations. Sometimes we need a mask of confidence, formality, emotional strength, or happiness, often to portray a different image, mood, or feeling. Even though we may not feel that certain way, we do it for others and to benefit the situation. Second, masks can protect you from ill-intentioned people. Trust needs to be earned, and often it's important to wear a mask or two to keep others at arm's length away for a period of time so you can learn more about them and make your own determination. And finally, masks exist to help you and allow you to adapt. People who are generally thought of as most authentic or considered down to earth have small, unobtrusive masks that don't completely hide who they are, but the person can tailor their personality to their current setting and interaction with others. Now, masks can also be detrimental in some ways. They can change, alter, or limit your personal growth and development. Here are a few reasons why you need to be careful with the masks you wear and be ready to get rid of them. First, you need to live to your potential. Do all you can to complete, to bring your complete self into everything you do. There are millions of people in this world who have similar skills and knowledge compared to you, and many have skills that are even stronger, but they aren't you. They may not bring the same creativity, passion, personality, or attitude so be you and show all your strength. Second, relief. It's exhausting to live in an insincere way. You put on a mask or two, you take one off, then you put on more. The worst thing, soon you forget who you are. Realize that ultimately others need, need to like you for you. Don't sacrifice your true self for others, and be careful not to remove a mask because you're frightened and quickly put the mask back on. As poet E.E. E. Cummings wrote, the greatest battle we face as human beings is the battle to protect ourselves from the self the world wants us to become. And last, with the overuse of masks, it's difficult to heal and move forward in a healthy way as a person. An anonymous quote shared, love has a powerful way of removing the masks we all insist on wearing. Share your love, your passions, yourself with others. Don't hold parts back just because you think you won't be accepted. Think about your masks. Commit to taking them off and put yourself out in front of others. No regrets, no apologies.
The quote I shared earlier by Marty Rubin is so true. Behind every mask, there is a face. And behind that, a story. As graduates, you will continue to write your story, or maybe a new chapter. And for some, a rewrite from your rough draft you started. But continue to write your story as you head into the next phase of your life. Shed those masks or use them to your advantage. Be cognizant of other people and their masks and make sure you, you are understanding. You never fully know what might be happening or going on in someone else's life. Find ways to share your skills, talents, dreams, and passions with others and continue to learn and develop in all areas of your life. Make the most of your opportunities. Be a difference maker for you and for others. I am proud of each of our graduates. You have persevered through some difficult and challenging times. You have earned your recognition, your awards, and your honors. Congratulations. I will, I know you will continue to represent your family yourself, and Geneva Well. Continue to be you, with or without your masks, and create your own path while living your life to the fullest. Thank you for the memories and for making Geneva proud. Once an eagle, always an eagle. Best wishes to the class of 2021. Thank you. Our assistant principal, Mr. Anthony Markajan, will now announce scholarship recipients. Thank you, Mr. Weatherholt. I'd just like to say congratulations to all of our seniors graduating today. Thank you for working so hard to get to this point, to get to the end, and soon be graduating in just a few minutes. I'm so very proud of all of you. I'd like to, though, go ahead and mention some of our scholarship recipients. As I read your name, please stand and remain standing until, I've, until I have called out all the names of our scholarship recipients. Abigail Anderson. Paige Anderson. Sam Baker, Andrew Bowser, Shane Briotti, Skyra Brown, Sydney Brown, Michaela Bryan, Kelly Calhoun, Kyle Campos. Sarah Carrero, Kaylee Caswell, Christopher Christine, Kathy Cole, Isabella Cordova, Kenley Cunningham, Connor Deke. Gabriella DeLuca, Garrett Demshar, Carianna Downey, Maximus Dries, Corinne Dushney, Mercedes Elliott Estep. Eduardo Estrada, Sarah Ferrito, Allison Frank, Nia Gribbins, Vanessa Gunther, Jasmine Hall, William Hanchoski. 
Justin Hanna. Tessa Jones. Matthew Corver. Alexander Craig. William McDaniel. Elena Meckler. Christina Oros. Nicholas Nappy. Tyler Perkins. Violetta Pilumeli. McKenna Proy. Rachel Raymond. Alex Reese. Benjamin Scabona. Emily Showman. Cole Smith. Kyle Smothers. Heidi Stamper. Kaylee Stash. Morgan Stoltz. Briar Streets. Danny Taylor. And last but certainly not least, Michaela Van Sickle. A final round of applause for all of our scholarship recipients. At this time, our jazz band members will perform the senior selection Tango for Jam Jam by Zach Smith, and our JHS choir will perform the senior selection When Our Voices Rise by Stuart Chapman Hill.
It is my pleasure to present to you Ms. Sarah Fisher representing the Board of Education. Well, hello, hello. <clears throat> you should see the view from here. What a beautiful looking group of young people. Now let's think back about 13 years ago. You were on the brink of a great adventure, your first day of school. You were nervous, apprehensive, and had very little idea of what to expect. But you got all dressed up, took a deep breath, climbed on that bus, and stepped into your future. Today is very similar to that long ago day. Back then, you were given some rules to help you navigate the uncharted waters, like listen when others are talking, keep your hands to yourself, cover your mouth when you cough, don't run with scissors, and use your words. Please humor me for a couple minutes while I give you a few more words that will hopefully ease your way into the future. First, social media is not your friend. Now, don't get me wrong, I probably spend way too much time on Facebook, but many jobs have been lost when prospective employers have checked their candidate's social media. Just use it with discretion. Don't post anything that would upset or embarrass your grandmother, because those are the ones that can use you a job. Second, have a friend and be a friend. One wonderful thing I have managed to do on Facebook is keep in touch with my friends. Make the effort to maintain the friendships you have right now. Be kind to them, be gentle with them, and treat them like the treasures they are. They'll be the ones who knew you when, and they will be the ones who can lift you and help you get going again when life kicks you in the pants and at some point it will. They will be your cheerleaders and you will do the same for them. And as an example of this, when I walked in today, I heard someone call my name. I looked up and it was a member of my graduating class of 65. So the 56 years that have gone on since I've graduated, he came to my husband's funeral. I went to his daughter's wedding and we have enjoyed each other's company at many, many reunions. So keep track of your friends and keep them friends. Third, think twice and talk once. Really listen to what people are saying. Know who you're talking to. Don't take lawn care advice from a plumber. Everyone thinks they are an expert, but very few are. You may be surprised by the amount of nonsense people insist on spreading. Make sure that anything you say is well thought out and doesn't subtract from the grand total of human knowledge. Try to spend twice as much time listening as you do talking. Four, let people know what you know. Dozens of people have spent thousands of hours teaching you what you need to get to this day. Now use it, be proud of it. Act like you're educated. Use your grammar, use your vocabulary, use your spelling, use your punctuation, use your skills at researching to prove or disprove what you read and hear. Be proud of your schooling and repay those teachers for all those hours they've spent on you by showing the world that you received a solid education at Geneva High School. And finally, read. A man named Mason Cooley said that reading gives you some place to go when we have to stay where we are. Stephen King, book, books are a uniquely portable magic. George R. R. Martin, a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. A man who never reads lives only one. Lemony Snicket, never trust anyone who is not does not have a book with them. And finally, Carl Sagan said, one glance at a book and you hear the voice of another person, perhaps one who's been dead for a thousand years. To read is to voyage through time. I could have cited at least another thousand quotes about the wonders of reading, but I think you get the idea. It's very 
difficult to read with every frequency and not to learn something. No matter what you read, you will come away with more than you started with. I have an unattributed quote that says, reading can seriously damage your ignorance. Find the time, make the time to read, if it, even if it's only a few minutes at a time. You won't regret it. And in the future, read to your children. It will be a wonderful gift of love that they will use all their lives. In closing, Oscar Wilde said, some cause happiness wherever they go, others whenever they go. Please try to be the former. Remember to soar high and proud, eagles. The future is yours. Make of it what you will. But whatever you choose to do, make us proud. And oh yes, those rules you learned for kindergarten are still in effect. Thank you. We will now begin to present the diplomas to the class of 2021. Please hold your applause so that all names can be heard. Will the first row please stand and proceed to the platform. Dylan Michael Asierno. Dylan will be attending college, working towards his goals of opening a business and inspiring others. Brandon Zachary Allen. Brandon will be entering the workforce and plans on becoming a volunteer fireman. Abigail Lynn Anderson. Abigail will be attending Kent State Ashtabula with aspirations of becoming a nurse. Paige Catherine Anderson. Paige will study pharmaceuticals at Ohio Northern University. Samuel Alexander Baker. Samuel is going to pursue nursing while investing in real estate and the stock market. Mackenzie Elizabeth Baker Reen. Mackenzie plans on becoming a teacher after high school. Kennedy Ray Bales. Kennedy will be furthering her education at the University of Toledo to earn her master's degree in forensic science. David Michael Bauckham. David hopes to find his passion in life and pursue a successful career. Hannah Paige Berg. Hannah is joining the United States Army working towards her career in the medical field. Austin Michael Berkowitz. Austin will be attending college to study construction management. Sebastian Lee Black. Sebastian plans on seeking out adventure and new challenges in the future. Andrew Jaylin Bowser. Andrew will be working towards a degree in clinical psychology as well as opening his own business. Christian Michael Bradbury. Christian will be pursuing his dream of becoming a police officer as well as establishing a happy, healthy family. Ryan Christopher Brafford. Ryan plans on entering the workforce after high school. Shane Matthew Briody. 
Shane will be attending Cle Cleveland State University to study sports psychology and hopes to one day work for a professional sports team. Skyra Noel Brown. Skyra will study mechanical engineering at Mount Union. She is looking forward to giving back to those who have supported her. Sydney Elizabeth Brown. Sydney will be returning to the high school to continue her education. Her goals for the future include getting a heart and lung transplant, as well as living her happiest life. Amber Michelle Bryan. Amber will be attending the Cleveland Institute of Art, working towards becoming an artist. Kelly Louise Calhoun. Kelly will attend Cleveland State University to major in international relations. One goal for her future is to travel across Europe. Joseph Richard Campbell Jr. Joseph will be attending college while working at a game studio. Kyle Grant Campos. Kyle plans on seeking gainful employment that will lead to a happy and fulfilling life. Sarah Catherine Carrero. Sarah will pursue a bachelor's degree in music education at the University of Mount Union. Kaylee Elizabeth Caswell. Kaylee will attend Cleveland State University to earn her doctorate in physical therapy and hopes to one day open her own practice. Christopher Ryan Christine. Christopher will be attending Lakeland Community College to become a nurse practitioner. Tyler Douglas Claycomb. Tyler will pursue a career in the automotive field, working towards purchasing his first home. Sophia Jane Cleversey. Sophia plans on attending University of Toledo after high school. Ian Metro Clunan. Ian will be working towards earning his degree through Cleveland State University. Kathy Marie Cole. Kathy will pursue a career in nursing in addition to traveling the world. Brianna Marie Colazzo. Brianna is considering the military. However, wherever life takes her, she knows she will be successful. Isabella Bailey Cordova. Isabella will be attending Cleveland State working towards becoming a physician's assistant specializing in obstetrics or pediatrics. Anne Victoria Costello. Anne will become an equine veterinarian technician and is working towards training young horses. Grace Nicole Costello. Grace will be attending Eastern Gateway she hopes to own her own business in the future. Morgan Elizabeth Koval. Morgan will further her education with Lakeland Community College to pursue a career in forensic psychology. Rain Marie Cribs. 
Rain will be attending Lakeland Community College working towards becoming a physical therapist. Sean Alexander Culp. Sean would like to pursue a career as a mechanic in the future. Kenley George Cunningham III. Kenley will continue his education with Akron University, majoring in mechanical engineering. Connor Jacob Deek. Connor will enlist in the Air Force, working towards a career with SpaceX. He strives to be a part of major scientific advancements. Matthew Stephen Deems. Matthew will pursue opportunities that will allow him to improve his artistic abilities. Frank Joseph De Leon Jr. Frank plans to work in construction, aiming to support a happy, healthy family. Gabriella Elizabeth DeLuca. Gabriella will continue running track and cross country at Heidelberg University, majoring in environmental science and education. Garrett Matthew Demshar. Garrett hopes to one day be a commercial pilot for Delta Airlines. He will be studying aeronautical sciences at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Caden Elijah Dewey. Caden will be pursuing a career in welding. In the future, he hopes to put his welding skills to work by building a car. Kariana Megan Downey. Kariana will attend Cleveland State for a BSN and eventually become a traveling trauma nurse. Maximus Gabriel Dries. Maximus plans on learning as much as he can and working on writing and playing music in the future. Alexia Quinn Duffus. Alexia will attend Lakeland Community College and eventually become an interior designer. Corinne Nicole Dushney. Corinne will work towards her doctorate in psychology at Cleveland State University. Mercedes Lina Marie Elliott Estep. Mercedes will pursue a career in nursing. Austin James Ellis. After graduation, Austin plans on seeking gainful employment that will lead to a happy and fulfilling life. Hannah Rose Elrod. While undecided on future plans, Hannah will go on the path of self-discovery. Jocelyn Marie Emmerich. Jocelyn plans to attend college. Eduardo Martinez Estrada. Eduardo plans on starting a business after he graduates. Nayeli Estrada Alvarez. Nayeli will pursue a career in cosmetology and work towards building up clientele. Anthony John Bedell. Anthony will become a comic book writer and artist while striving to entertain people with his stories. Taylor Rose Enlison. Taylor will continue her education in early childhood education to work with preschool aged kids. Andrew Robert Burrito. Andrew plans on traveling the world. Sarah Jeanette Burrito. Sarah will attend Ohio State University, majoring in zoology, and hopes to work at a wildlife refuge in Africa. Alyssa Jessica Fix. Alyssa will attend the University of Cincinnati and eventually attend medical school. 
Fabian Xavier Fonesca. Fabian will attend college at Cleveland State University and strives to be happy. Emma Kimberly Fortier. Emma will study art therapy at Edinburgh University. Audrey Claire Fortney. Audrey will become a horticulturalist and work towards owning a business that sells plants. Matthew Raymond Brabada. Matthew will join the U.S. Army pursuing a career as a technical engineer. Zane Alexander Francis. Zane will join a labor union and work towards becoming wealthy. Allison Nicole Frank. Allison will attend Kent State University main campus and major in psychology. Bethany Rose Gamash. Bethany strives to live to her fullest potential. Emma Nicole Gaynor. Emma will be pursuing an associate's degree at Kent State Ashtabula and aims to start her own business. Gabriel William Gamma III. Gabriel's goal is to get a good job and to own a house after finishing high school. Anna Victoria Gerger. Anna will attend Cleveland State to study business and strives to make her parents proud. Edward Joseph Goff. Edward will be exploring different careers in search of employment. Alyssa Lynn Green. Alyssa plans on attending the University of Akron to study early childhood education. Megan Taylor Greenwood. Megan will attend classes to earn a real estate license and eventually get a degree in property management. Nia Ryan Gribbins. Nia will be attending Mount Union to study nursing and continue golfing. She plans on specializing in kids with disabilities. Aiden Paul Graining. Aiden will be pursuing a career path that will lead to financial independence. Matthew Edward Brzezinski. Matthew will attend college to play football and study business. Vanessa K. Gunther. Vanessa will pursue a degree in nursing at Kent State University and aims to become a neonatal practitioner. Jasmine Lee Hall. Jasmine will attend the University of Mount Union with plans of going to graduate school. Jonathan Philip Hall. Jonathan will start a two-year degree in business at Lakeland Community College. Lorelei Isabel Hall. Lorelei will attend Lakeland Community College to get a degree in education. Trenton Donald Ham. Trenton will become a welder and strives to be successful and happy. Justin Edward Hanna. Justin will be majoring in engineering at Youngstown State University. Bailey Ann Harper. Bailey will attend West Virginia University to become a forensic examiner and strives to fulfill her dreams. Mariah Rain Hadley. 
Mariah hopes to pursue her goals and find happiness. Jacob Isaac Hollingsworth. Jacob will join the workforce and create music with his band, Wilson Avenue. Jonathan Shin Wong. Jonathan will attend Northwood or Kaiser University and strives to make his parents proud. Edric Allen Hudson. Edric plans on working full time after graduation. Dakota Lee Hutchinson. Dakota will become a paramedic and further his medical career. Alexis May John. Alexis will attend college and aims to be independent within a year. Tessa Carolyn Jones. Tessa will be attending the University of Akron and wants to find a career that will bring success, joy, and fulfillment. Samuel Stephen Caney. Samuel plans on being financially stable in the future with a successful job. Carolyn Isis Kobus. Carolyn plans to go to college for business and open her own restaurant. Matthew Lee John Corver. Matthew plans on attending Mount Union University to double major in musical theater and music education with aspirations of a career on Broadway. Andrew Joseph Cozy IV. Andrew plans to attend Akron University with the goal of working for NASA in the future. Alexander Jacob Craig. Alexander plans on attending Miami University to major in either economics or finance. His goal is to be able to continue to work hard. Chase Michael Lawrence. Chase plans on attending Lakeland Community College with the goal of graduating and starting his life. Darren Colby Lindbergh. Darren plans on attending Youngstown State University to major in psychology. He hopes to be able to better those around him. Logan James Mallory. Logan plans on attending college in order to get his dental license. His goal is to live a happy life. Julia Grace Martello. Julia plans to attend Kent State University in order to pursue a career in physical therapy. David Bradley Matul. David plans on pursuing a career that will give him financial independence. William Donovan Jacob McDaniel. William plans on attending Miami University to study computer science and to be able to pursue a high ceiling job. Madison Brooke McDermott. Madison plans on going into the workforce. Jesse James McElroy. His goal is to be able to buy his mom a car. Joshua Michael Merkley. Joshua plans to continue his education and learn from different trades. His goal is to own his own business. Elena Christine Metzler. Elena plans on attending Mount Union to study chemistry and Spanish. Her goal is to become a head laboratory technician. Desiree Maria Moore. Desiree plans on living a comfortable life after high school. Her goal is to live to the fullest. Haven Taylor Moran. Haven plans on potentially going to college. Her goal is to get a fulfilling job. Nicholas Robert Nappy. 
Nicholas plans to major in English and hopes to someday teach English in another country while continuing his martial arts career. Caleb Michael Nugent. Caleb is currently unsure of his plans for the future, but will strive to become financially secure. Desiree Sky Manis Odell. Desiree plans to become a 911 dispatcher with the goal of advancing her career someday. Devin Robert Morrison. There we go. Devin plans on pursuing a career that will give him financial independence after attending Kent State University to pursue an MBA in business administration. Rachel Lynn Morrow. Rachel plans on attending Cleveland State University to major in psychology and minor in forensics. Mercedes Whitney Moyers. Mercedes hopes to find lifelong happiness and professional success. Micah O'Handley Sherman II. Micah plans to get certified in and pursue a career in welding. Dianara Michelle Ordonez. Dianara plans to become a doctor. One of her goals is to own her own place and be successful. Christina Ann Rose. Christina plans to attend Walsh University to major in early childhood education in order to make a difference. Trevor Joseph Clinton Palmer. Joseph plans on pursuing a career that will provide him with job security and a comfortable lifestyle. Isabella Marguerite Pascalone. Isabella plans on attending Cuyahoga Community College to major in sonography. Nicholas Giovanni Pellegrino. Nicholas is still undecided about his future plans, but wants to be his own boss one day. Tyler Ian Octavio Perkins. Tyler plans on attending Baldwin Wallace to go into the field of social work. Jarek Blaze Peterson. Jarek plans on striving to be his best self while also pursuing a good job. Aiden Scott Foe. Aiden plans on majoring in literature in college with hopes of publishing a novel. Violetta Crocefisa Pilamelli. Violetta will be attending Cleveland State University to study healthcare and Spanish. She strives to be a powerful woman in today's society. Michael Ryan Pohl. Michael hopes to eventually work in video game concept design and to someday create a game series. McKenna Grace Froy. McKenna plans to attend the University of Akron to study biomedical sciences and enter the medical field. Rachel Nicole Raymond. Rachel plans to attend the University of Akron to study speech pathology and audiology in order to become a speech pathologist. Jocelyn Nicole Redmond. Jocelyn will be studying veterinary technology at Kent State University in the fall. Nathan Spencer Reese. Nathan plans on living his life to the fullest after high school. Alex Glenn 
Ethan Regal. Alex plans on attending the University of Toledo for mechanical engineering. Kiera Teresa Ricker. Kiera plans on working at Brown Aveda in Mentor. Angela Deanne Riffel. After a gap year, Angela will be attending nursing school with plans of a future in healthcare. Timothy James Robinson. Timothy plans on going into the career of carpentry and hopes for a financially stable future. Alexandra Marissa Roney. Alexandra will be pursuing a degree in education and plans on becoming a preschool teacher. Molly Catherine Rose. Molly is attending Lakeland Community College to pursue an Associate of Arts degree. Someday she hopes to be a psychologist. Jessica Lil Ruggieri. Jessica will be exploring a career in canine unit training. Jaden Paul Sable. Jaden plans on working full time after graduating. Antonio Luis Saldana. Antonio plans on getting his CDL after high school. Marissa Marie Salyers. Marissa will pursue a future in cosmetology with dreams of owning her own salon. Grace Ann Saunders. Grace plans on continuing to a career in power sports and outdoor equipment. Sophia Ashley Schaefe. Sophia will attend Tiffin University with dreams of becoming a photographer and singing around the world. Benjamin Anthony Scabona. Ben plans on attending Lake Erie College and continuing his football career. Demetrius Richard Shaw. Demetrius is going to find a career path with growth that will allow him financial success. Emily Margaret Alina Showman. Emily will be majoring in criminal justice to pursue paralegal work at Lake Erie College. Matthew Tyler Seekinen. Matthew plans on attending Auburn Career Center to learn tool and die. Cole Everett Smith. Cole will be attending Akron University with the goal of graduating with little to no debt. Kyle Frank Smothers. Kyle plans on attending Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, majoring in aerospace engineering. Brian Paul Spencer. Brian will be attending the Kent State University Ashtabula branch and plans on becoming a physical therapist. Heidi Lawrence Stamper. Heidi will attend Kent State University to major in speech pathology and minor in ASL. She plans to work with children in her future. Morgan Lily Stoltz. Oh. Morgan will be majoring in business administration and playing volleyball at Baldwin Wallace. Kaylee Rose Stash. Kaylee will further her education, pursuing a major in pharmaceuticals. Briar Dalton Streets. Briar plans on attending college at Akron for a degree in chemical engineering and raising a farm and a family. Lillian Clover Sweeney. 
Lillian plans on finding a consistent job in the future. Kira Aries Tapia. Kira is going to college to become a forensic pathologist with hopes of working for the FBI. Danny Charles Taylor. Danny will attend Lake Erie College to study business and play football while pursuing a career in the NFL. Lita Alexandria Trampty. Lita plans to attend John Carroll University and to make the most of her future. Dakota Nicole Traven. Dakota was a beloved member of the GHS family. Our thoughts and prayers are with you now and always. Serenity Joy Chakolsky. Serenity is pursuing a degree in baking and pastry arts and plans to move somewhere warmer. Michaela Ruth Van Sickle. Michaela will be continuing her education at Cleveland State University to major in criminology. Bryce Matthew Warner. Bryce plans on being a rental house owner and customs mechanic. Olivia Rose Wayslaw. Olivia will be attending Cleveland State University to explore travel nursing. Aaron Noah Robert Wilkinson. Aaron plans on working full time at Ohio Lift Truck. Clayton Matthew Williams. Clayton plans on continuing to work at Classic Auto Group in the future. Hayden Christopher Wilson. Hayden plans on serving in the Army as part of the infantry. Hope Marie Wilson. Hope plans on going to college to become a veterinarian. Jaden Maurice Young. Jaden plans to travel the world and become a statesman after high school. Eileen Yanzin Zhang. Eileen will be furthering her education in college to become a physical therapist. Ready? Class of 2021, please rise. Class of 2021, you are now officially the 150th graduating class of Geneva High School and are entitled to the privileges of your new acquired status. You may now officially and traditionally signify your accomplishments by moving your tassel from the right to the left side of your caps. Congratulations, graduates.